A thousand kilometers away from Havana, time seems to have stood still. This is the road to the southern Cuban city of Guantanamo. Home to the oldest U.S. military base in the Americas. For the last 103 years, it has been controlled under a lease by the United States. Residents here say they want the tip of the island back. It is a piece of land that belongs to us. They should have returned it a long time ago. The United States and Cuba signed a treaty that gives the U.S. complete jurisdiction and control over the area, while Cuba holds ultimate sovereignty. The agreement is permanent and cannot be broken unilaterally. Cuba cannot use Guantanamo Bay for commercial purposes because its access is limited to American military operations. The naval base used to employ hundreds of Cubans like Héctor Borges. Relations turned sour and President Fidel Castro cut off the water supply to the base after the Americans fired some Cuban workers. I had good relations with the Americans until the water incident, and then I was kicked out. Tensions rose and most Guantanamo residents lost their jobs at the base. Like the rest of the country, Guantanamo is also a poor city. Residents here say they would be in better shape if they would have access to the bay. But now they also resent that their town's name is synonymous with one of the most notorious prisons in the world. Salvador Calzado says he wants the Americans to leave. I feel anger, hatred and shame because we cannot do anything about it. Our hands are tied. Before there was a prison in Guantanamo, the city was associated with Cuba's most famous song, written for a beautiful woman from Guantanamo known as a Guantanamera. To the world, Guantanamo is a prison, but for Americans and Cubans, it continues to be their closest front line, where Cubans can keep an eye on the Americans, who keep an eye on the Cubans. Mariana Sánchez, Al Jazeera, Guantánamo.